Brian Abraham. Well, there we go. Thank you. When you come to the APEC Policy Conference, you hear a lot about Iran, Hezbollah, and all kinds of rockets. Now, this is important, but not the most uplifting stuff. Well, you can come out from underneath your chairs, because for the next 30 minutes, only happy talk, good thoughts, and really exciting developments. We're going to take a break from all that. We're going to focus only on good news and great developments. It's jarring, I know. Deal with it. You're going to meet some fascinating people and some incredible things. We're going to see how our present, as well as our future, is being shaped by Israel during the APAC Israeli Innovation Showcase. Most people in this room know that Israel is third in the world in NASDAQ-listed companies, has generated the technologies, ideas, and innovations that are providing a steady diet of water, ideas, and food around the globe. But to better understand the why of those amazing facts, today we're going to show you four remarkable innovations and some of the people behind them. To start, Many cutting-edge Israeli innovations save lives in Israel, but they also make us safer here in America. So we're going to take a look at just one product that does that. Please join me in welcoming Amir Berry, the founder and CEO of Camaro. Welcome, Amir. OK, let's get to it. What does Camaro do? Actually, we allow people to see through walls. You can come to... closer. I've not been a guest in a long time. <laughs> Tell me what Camaro does. We are looking through walls, uh, enabling people to see into building through non-line of sight, just through walls and ceilings. So you can look through walls. You know, in high school, I dreamed about having something just yeah. like this. <laughs> and uh, how, who do you do that for? Mainly for military forces, law enforcement, search and rescue, and others. Uh, from very small devices like this up to some bigger, more tactical, and other for intelligence missions. And what does that do for the users? Actually, it changes the game. Uh, once you can see through a wall, you can plan completely different the operation. You can save life. You can do things much more effectively. Okay. And, and how, did, uh, how did this idea get started? Actually, it started uh, many years ago. Uh, I had a very big dream. Uh, and together with an excellent team, the, maybe the b best br brains in Israel, uh, with a very hard work backed with the SK Group, uh, this vision became a reality today. It's deployed today in more than 30 countries for military and law enforcement users. Okay, so let's understand how this would work in a real life situation from someone who actually uses it in law enforcement. I'd like to welcome to the stage Lieutenant Buzz Benson, of the Gwinnett County, Georgia Sheriff's Department. Right. So welcome, Lieutenant Benson. We have Georgians in the house? All right. Yeah, there we go. There you go. <laughs> Can I call you Buzz? Absolutely. All right, I don't want to get crosswise with another sheriff's deputy. In Cook County, there's a few unhappy with me. By the way, I want to talk to you. Can you help me control my teenage son? Absolutely. All right. So have you used, now you're carrying another model, the Camaro. I am. This is a, a larger one, and we're going to see the, the full size just in a little bit. It's the one that we use. Okay, that's the one you're using. And you've used the Camaro in actual tactical situations? Absolutely. Uh, we probably used it in the field probably 100 times and practiced many, many more times than that. Okay. Tell me about an actual situation where you used it. Uh, one of the notable examples was we had uh, members of a Mexican drug cartel kidnap a young eight-year-old boy. His father owed the drug cartel money and didn't have the money to pay him. They kidnap his son. They're holding him hostage. Um, he comes to law enforcement about it. Uh, we were able to uh, track down the kidnappers using their cell phones, but we were only able to track them to an apartment building, one end of an apartment building, and there were two different apartments. We didn't know which apartment, nor did we know where the bad guys were in the apartment. We were able to use uh, the radar unit not only determine which apartment they were in, but uh, exactly where they were in the apartment 
So when it came time to rescue the child, it made things very easy, and we did it in seconds. So in addition to saving the lives... In addition to saving the lives of hostages and, and kind of uh, some of the civilians, do you feel Camaro has also saved the lives of your deputies? Absolutely. Uh, Real-time intelligence, when you're dealing with bad guys that are armed, real-time intelligence is absolutely critical for uh, having an effective plan that's going to work. Okay, and so why don't we get right to it, and let's go over here and let's do a demonstration of how Camaro works. Here we have a wall, or at least a policy conference uh, stage version of a wall. And uh, this, is, this is the Camaro unit, the full-size Camaro unit. Amir, uh, put us in the situation here. What are, we, what are we looking at? And Lauren, can we put this up on the screen? Let's give the folks a look at, uh, at what we're uh, seeing here on the screen. Okay, so we're looking now on the volume behind the wall. We can see that nothing appears there. There is no object, a live object over there. And you have two views. On the left, we're looking kind of into the True. room, and, and on the right, we're looking from above. Okay, now so now we can see someone entering. All right, so now we may be getting bad guys. Buzz, yeah. let's uh, treat this as a tactical situation. Describe to me, if you were in the situation, what you're seeing on the screen. Uh, well, we seem to have uh, two different subjects. One is uh, stationary. The other one is uh, walking about. If this behavior was to continue for a while, I would think that we might have a, have a bad guy and a, maybe a hostage. So, so, so you've uh, got one who's sitting. That could be a hostage, the guy pacing back absolutely. and forth. Absolutely. Of course, the guy that's pacing back and forth would, be, uh, would appear to be our bad guy. And would this tell you in a situation, if he is further away or leaves the room, that could be your time to breach the door? Absolutely. Well, the radar tells us where he is in the room. And uh, then, of course, if he leaves uh, that portion of the area that, that the radar is looking at, then we'll know. So uh, by watching his actions and his behavior, especially over a period of time, it helps us to formulate a plan that's going to be effective. And Amir, you don't have to be up against a wall, correct? Absolutely. It can work up to 65 feet. Uh, we can work when it's against the wall or in a standoff. We can penetrate multiple walls. So I could have one inside my house, I could look at my neighbor's house? That's true. But I, I want to talk to you about one. an APAC discount after the show. <laughs> um, this looks like science fiction. How does this work? Actually, it's um, the most comment we are, uh, frequent comment we are getting. This is a pure science. Uh, it works on the radio waves. It's a type of a radar called ultra-wideband and uh, with very sophisticated signal processing and image processing, we're enabling to reconstruct an image which is quite uh, intuitive and can be shown in a few seconds. And your handheld unit can also tell if there's people in the room and where they are? Yes, absolutely. This is a personal tactical tool. can work, again, up to 65 feet in a standoff position. It can work with a network of sensors, can show a full awareness of the situation. And this is obviously not much of a wall, but in real life you work through brick, stone? True. It's reinforced concrete, cinder block, clay brick, all regular material, uh, building materials, including very heavy uh, walls. We can penetrate multiple walls so we can see deep in the building. Has that been your experience, Buzz? You can look through just any, any kind of wall? Absolutely. We'll look through steel reinforced concrete. And uh, who are your customers, Amir? Uh, our customers are mainly military and law enforcement here in the States. It's including SWAT teams, federal agencies, uh, allied military users. I can tell you it was used in Afghanistan and Iraq. So there are many users using it in the States and in other thir more than 30 countries today. And you mentioned disaster relief, meaning if there's rubble from earthquake, you can come? Yes, we can just uh, sense breathing of live object and detect them. Uh, and to save their life. Amazing. Buzz. <laughs> Buzz, thank you for your service to the citizens of Gwinnett County. And uh, Amir, thank you for what you're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, Camaro. Thank you.